we we need to do better. Because right. the time that they're in right now is not the right time to be playing. Yeah. And this world, wrong is right and right is wrong. Yeah. Y'all know when you get I said, when, in this day and time, right is wrong and wrong is right. So, by me being on a football team, many of the boys talk in different languages, use different profanity. So, I'm trying to keep myself humble and stay out of the way. Yes! Yes! It's all right to be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right to be the same. Yeah. It's all right to be the same.
Amen. Now we can pray. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we come to you, God, once again, God. God, I just ask, God, that you let me decrease, God, as you increase in me, Father. God, I just ask that you bless this word, God. God, that you give me the words to say, Father. Father God, that you open every heart, God, to receive your word on today, God. God, we just bless your name and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So, amen. Of course, my heart dropped <laughs> when Pastor asked me, hallelujah. But, amen, obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. So, though my mind was telling me, why, Lord? Why, Lord? Amen. I knew that, amen, God would give me something to say. Amen. So, on today, Amen. My topic is flourish in your identity. If you want to know what flourish means, flourish is to grow or develop in a healthy or vigorous way. And your identity is the characteristics determining who or what a person or thing is. My first point that I want to make is that your identity is found in Christ. It is in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are made for. He alone has the final word on what we are. Not social media, not your latest failure, not your mom, not your boss, not your kids, not your past or worst enemies, or even ourselves. He, his word is the very place that we find our identity. First John 3 verses 1 and 2 states, see what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God. And that is what we are. And the reason the word does not, the world does not know us is that they didn't know him. Sometimes we want to fit in, as Brother J Boy said, but God made us stand out so that the world can see him. He puts you in places, amen, of darkness so that people can see light, amen? amen. The second point that I want to make is you are God's choice. So it's not by mistake that you're here today, amen? God chose you. Ephesians, verse, uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 and 5 tells us, in Christ he chose us before the world was even made. In his love he chose us to be his holy people, People without blame before him. And before the world was made, God decided to make us his own children through Christ. Amen. Amen. So you are God's choice. Amen. A lot of times we wonder why we're not picked for this, why we're not picked for that. Hallelujah. Why we're not like this person, why we can't sing like that person. Hallelujah. But God made you who you are. Amen. Hallelujah. My third point is that you are a new creation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 states, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Before the creation of the world, God chose you. In him you are seen, you are known, and wanted. You are his masterpiece. You're one of a kind, created for good or good works. When you uncover, embrace, and proclaim your true identity, you become an unstoppable force for good. Immediately, we have a new life in Christ and identity. See, sometimes, even when you apply for a job, you got to wait for them to accept application. You to see if you're qualified. And, and then sometimes they make you go through a second interview. And then, but the word of God says immediately we have new life in Christ. Your identity. 
enemy, Satan, he hates you and your identity. Why? Because his identity will never change. Amen. The grace and mercy that's extended to us is not extended to Satan. Hallelujah. So he, his future will never change. Hallelujah. His future will never change. Hallelujah. He will forever be in hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So whatever he can do to distract us from getting to heaven, that's what he's going to do. Hallelujah. He wants to convince you that your trials and negative circumstances Define you, define your identity so that you stay captive. Hallelujah. And he knows that it's easier to believe lies when you're hurting, when you're sick, when you're broken, and when you feel like you're not loved. Hallelujah. Anybody had a bad day? Hallelujah. And everything is going wrong. Hallelujah. You want to say, why God, why me? That's the time that you should be giving God praise. Hallelujah. That's the time that you should be giving God thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Jesus won the victory so that you can identify with him. He defines your true identity and he makes a way for you to flourish. Every attack from the enemy is an attempt to strip you of your identity. Hallelujah. When we look back on Joseph, his brothers were jealous of him because his father made him a beautiful coat of colors. Hallelujah. So what did they do? Hallelujah. They stripped him of the coat and they threw him in the pit. Hallelujah. But one thing about it, hallelujah, that didn't change who he was. He was still a son. Hallelujah. So no matter what the enemy takes from you, hallelujah, you're still a son. Oh, no. 
going to fight the enemy. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 17, begins to describe the armor that God gave us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you think about the helmet of salvation, hallelujah, it guards our minds. Hallelujah. They used to tell us in order to see mind over matter. Hallelujah. If you don't mind, then it don't matter.
them glorify the Father. And Father, we thank you right now. God, help us to be like that tree that planted by the rivers of war, that bringing for fruit in the season. God bless her right now. Bless everything she touch. Let the waters that come out of her mouth, let it not fall to the ground. Bless our children, God. Bless our husband, God. Bless our home, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody share.